last week in theory class, I assigned questions 16 from the textbook, but its uh, solution's not in the back of the book, so I thought we'd give it a shot here now. Um, so I've drawn the circuit here. The first thing that we're going to have to figure out or find is going to be the um, peak voltage. As mentioned in a previous video, the number one thing you got to find is peak voltage. So we're going to find V peak primary. Uh, v peak primary is going to be V RMS times 1.414, which equals 120 volts times 1.414, which gives us, I believe, 169.7. Uh, in the book, that should be volts, by the way, sorry volts. In the book they're asking us to find uh, the secondary, the total secondary voltage. Um, so the total secondary will be across the entire secondary so that's going to be simply the turns ratio. So we're going to take V secondary and I'm going to call it total because it's the whole thing. And the V secondary total is going to be the V primary peak value divided by the turns ratio, which was 4. Um, 169.7 divided by 4 means that the entire secondary voltage, so that's, that's not the center tap, that's the entire thing is 40, that's a very bad four, 42.43 volts. That's the test, uh, total secondary voltage. Um, then they ask us to find the voltage across one half. I've, de call, I've decided to call this just V secondary. So the distinction is total is across the entire secondary, secondary that we're calculating here is just for one half. Of course, that seems like some simple math because if we just want half, we take the secondary total and we divide it by two. So that's going to give us half of the secondary value. Uh, that's 42.43 divided by two. Of course, if you just want to see the answers, you can just skip to the end of this video. I'm um, doing it all for those that, that need or want to see all the steps. 21.22 volts is what's on each secondary. Um, next, what they've asked us to do is find the current through each diode. That's a, it's a bit of an odd wording, but really the current through each diode is no different than the current through the resistor, right? The load. Only one diode's ever conducting at a time. So we can sort of throw some formulas together if we wanted and say that um, what we really want to do is find out what V out, correct? That's the total output voltage divided by R. Well, of course, we haven't figured out what V out is yet, but we could say V secondary minus the one diode that's conducting, like discussed in the previous video. And we'll just bracket that to make sure we do it first. Then we'll divide that by R. Uh, I'm running out of space and I'm pretty sure you can stick the numbers in there. So we're going to just write down what the solution was. That's 20 uh, point five two milliamps um, and that's everything they wanted I think except for peak inverse voltage and we'll do that over here remember peak inverse voltage in this was again discussed in a prior video P 
peak inverse voltage is the amount of voltage that the reverse bias diode is going to have to hold back. There were two possible formulas. The one we're going to use here is um, using the total secondary voltage because we've already calculated that. So we're just going to take V secondary total. Should have come up with shorter abbreviations for these. Eh? It's not even really an abbreviation. Minus the one diode that is forward bias will give us what the other diode has to hold back. Uh, that's going to be the 42.42 minus 0 0.7, which gives us a total peak inverse voltage of, here I wrote it down, 41 point seven three um, so there that's the peak inverse voltage um, we didn't I guess the other question in the and it was what type of rectifier is this this is a, a full wave rectifier but there's the peak inverse voltage this is the total primary voltage peak here's the total peak secondary voltage Here's one half of the secondary voltage. And here's the current. And of course, we found V out and then divided it by R. R was 1,000 or 1 kilo ohm. So obviously, um, the output voltage was 20.52 volts, if, if you wanted to know what that number was. And there, we have solved question 16 from the textbook.